God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. For the fruits of his creation, thanks be to God. For the gifts to every nation, thanks be to God. For the plowing, sowing, reaping, Silent growth while men are sleeping, future needs in earth safe keeping. Thanks be to God. Let your holy people rejoice, O Lord, as they enter your dwelling place. O Lord, remember David and all the many hardships he endured the oath he swore to the Lord, his vow to the strong one of Jacob. I will not enter the house where I live, nor go to the bed where I rest. I will give no sleep to my eyes, to my eyelids I will give no slumber, till I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the strong one of Jacob. At Ephrathah we heard of the ark. We found it in the plains of Urim, let us go to the place of his dwelling. Let us go to kneel at his footstool. Go up, Lord, to the place of your rest, you and the ark of your strength. Your priests shall be clothed with holiness. Your faithful shall ring out their joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not reject your anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let your holy people rejoice, O Lord, as, as they, they enter, enter your, your dwelling place. The Lord has chosen Zion as his sanctuary. The Lord swore an oath to David. He will not go back on his word. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If they keep my covenant in truth and my laws that I have taught them, their sons also shall rule on your throne from age to age. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my resting place forever. Here have I chosen to live. I will greatly bless her produce. I will fill her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful shall ring out their joy. There David's stock will flower. I will prepare a lamp for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has, has chosen, chosen Zion as his sanctuary. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. The Father has given Christ all power, honor, and kingship. All people will obey him. All of you should be like-minded, sympathetic, loving toward one another, kindly disposed, and humble. Do not return evil for evil or insult for insult. Return a blessing instead. This you have been called to do, that you may receive a blessing as your inheritance. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. Honey from the rock, to our heart's content. Bread of the finest wheat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has given us food, bread of the finest wheat. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God has cast on the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. Let us call upon Christ, the Good Shepherd, who comes to the aid of his people. Hear us, O God, our refuge. Blessed are you, Lord, for you graciously called us into your holy church. Keep us within the church until death. Hear us, O God, our refuge. You have given the care of all the churches to Francis, our Pope. Give him unfailing faith, lively hope, and loving concern. Hear us, O God, our refuge. Grant the grace of conversion to all sinners and the grace of true repentance to all men. Hear us, O God, our refuge. You were willing to live as a stranger in our world. Be mindful of those who are separated from family and homeland. Hear us, O God, our refuge. To all the departed who have hoped in you, grant eternal peace. Hear us, O God, our refuge. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for guiding us through the course of this day's work. In your compassion, forgive the sins we have committed through human weakness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.